I'm going to show you guys how to create this You Rule My Heart platter. Uh, we're going to start out with a piece of contact paper that's cut into the shape of a heart. So you can just fold the contact paper in half, cut out the half of the heart, and then you'll have your nice symmetrical heart. You're going to just pull the backing away from the contact paper so that you have your big heart sticker. And just place that down right in the center of the plate. And just make sure all the edges are nice and flush with the pottery so that none of the paint seeps underneath. And once that's down, we will start by painting three coats of black in the background. So using a large square brush, you're gonna paint three coats and you're gonna go up to the sort of inner rim. Now we're gonna remove the contact paper heart from the platter and you should have a nice clean heart right in the center there. And our next step is gonna be with the black puffy paint to outline the heart. Um, so that way it creates original, make it just a little easier, easier for us to fill in. So you'll just wanna follow it along all the way around. So now we'll just do the stripes on the rim using red, purple, and pink. Now that we have the stripes painted on the rim of the platter, we're going to go and paint the middle of our design with the heart in the center. And we're just going to use three coats of rock and red paint. And that puffy paint outline sort of just makes a nice, easy edge there that you can sort of bump up against. While we're letting the red paint dry in the middle, we're going to do the black Fun Rider outlines uh, in between the stripes just all along the edge. Now with the Fun Rider, we're just going to kind of improvise here and paint a crown on this one. All right, and while that dries, we're going to put the puffy paint words. And you can just sketch them out first with a, a number two pencil to give yourself a nice guideline of where you want those letters to go. And now we're just going to add some little details to the letters. And then we'll wait for the yellow to dry, we'll outline that, and it will be finished. Now we're just going to add some dots to our crown. I'm just going to use the pencil dot technique. So just dip the back end of a pencil into the paint and then I'm going to use a fun writer to outline it. 